Зайди с тест. Зейсерк Шрункап тест. Зе Предатор тест. All right, I have spent some time with this thing, and uh, well, I think I'm ready to finish off this review here. Um, all in all, what do I think? I think it's a fun little toy, um, toy being the uh, primary term here. It is uh, a lot of plastic. Uh, the, the colors make it, of course, you know, you know pretty obvious to uh, you're never going to hold up a grocery store or a convenience store with this thing. You know what I mean? But, uh, it, I mean, it's it's a fun toy. You know, I mean, I, I guess you've seen some of the, the demonstrations. Uh, it, it shoots pretty far, realistically. It's, uh, you know, you, you're going to have some fun in a, you know, a, a, like a an office uh, type environment. Yeah, I don't know, for the people that still go to work, you know, in an office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have a whole bunch of fun with it there, I think. Um, you know, it, it's certainly a toy for kids of all ages, and I'm never going to grow up any more than I already have. So, yeah, it's uh, fun for me. Um, things I like and things I don't, I guess we'll just do that. I like that uh, you got easy access to the jams and whatnot, and it has jammed up on me a few times. But it's it's really easy to deal with because, well, you know, there's that. It doesn't really lock in. It just kind of flaps. I don't know if you push really good and firm on it it kind of kind of locks in there but still it's i don't know eh, it just kind of flaps around i mean it's plastic it's 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 a toy so you know what do you want for a nickel um this wasn't quite a nickel it was a little more than that i think if memory serves it was right around the 50 dollar range um not cheap not expensive but uh you know it's 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 a fun little toy um i like it i mean i've been having fun with it uh, yeah, you, you know what I mean. You know what you're going to do with it. It's good for kids. It's good for adults. This, uh, there's a, what do they call this? A diopter? I don't think we're ever going to be able to get you close enough to properly see it. Uh, maybe. Do you see that thing moving? Yeah, you can actually see that. I'll be damned. All right. Um, you know... <laughs> They're making a real shot here, giving you the old college try here for uh, authentic and realism and, you know, I mean, yeah, removable buttstock, not collapsible, but removable. Yeah, it's convertible from pistol to uh, rifle, you know, A's and B's go together like so. I, I, am, I am quite surprised that this is metal. I mean, this is almost all metal. There's a little bit of plastic up in here, but uh, the uh, legs are telescopic you know so you got an adjustable height and there, there there's even a little spring loaded you know action going on there i mean there was there was some thought put into this um this actually weighs almost as much as the entire gun does because of being all metal well mostly metal anyway um you know it's 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 neat it's it's a fun toy magazines they, they hold a realistic amount of course you know you're going to run run through them in a heartbeat but uh, you know it's realistic they hold 10 bullets each the uh the the, the yeah, bullets they're not bullets i don't know what the hell they actually call them projectiles there we go how about that uh the suction cups you know i've, I've had the the biggest trouble with those getting jammed up the suction cups they uh they get right up to the barrel and i don't know they get popped in there something weird happens uh most of the time they work just fine, but 
when they jam up, I, I've had the most uh, jam up problems with uh, the suction cups here. The um, the tips of these are you know, framing, framing, urethane. I'm sure it's urethane because, uh, well, just from experience, that feels and, and looks and, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's urethane. Anyway, uh, they're getting kind of boogered up, scuffed, and they're full, forming these uh, little burrs, which may cause a problem over time. I, I hope that you can see that. But, uh, I mean, I, I really haven't had much trouble. I just, I've just been, you know, paying attention, noticing every time they hit the ground and slide, it seems like... Uh, or, or maybe it's happening right out of the gun. I don't know where it's happening. What, either when it impacts something hard, it you know that's happening, or as it's leaving the, the barrel. I, I don't know, but it's it's happening. That's all I can say about that. Um, you know, it's 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 a fun little toy. How long is it going to last? I don't know. Um, as long as it has to, right? Or so we all hope. It's neat. I, I like it. I like that. It's. I, I like the the whole kit. I mean, it's. It's just, it's it's a fun little toy. Um, yeah, I don't know where I'd put it on a star scale, scale rating. You know, I'm getting sick of the whole star thing. This whole five-star world, is, it, it's that's a bunch of crap. Five, five stars, that's for restaurants. Um, here in the real world, we've got to rate products. we got to get back to some realism here. I mean, we need a simple scale from zero to 10 with, you know, halves at least, or quarters and halves. How about that? So on a one or a zero, actually, a zero to 10, Scale, where would I put this thing? Oh, you know what? It's it's a lot of fun, and I don't know how long it would last, but if it lasts, you know, a solid year of hard use, I think I'd give her a seven and a half. Yeah, that's 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 a fair number. That's that's a fair uh, fair assessment. That's where I would put it anyway. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call her a seven and a half. If it if it lasted, I mean, I haven't had it in a year, but. Uh, you know, it's it's fun. It makes a racket. I mean, you've heard it, but uh, you know, it's fun. It does auto uh, single shot and multi fire. You know, it acts like a machine gun or semi automatic. It it's got three different settings here. Uh, you know, you play around with that as as you like. It'll fire through pretty quick, or you know, like I said, just single shot one at a time. Um, it's yeah, it's a fun little toy. I like it. It's it's. Uh, I've been having fun with it. I've been using it around the house quite a bit. Um, and the cats, you know, they 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 get curious every time they hear this sound. You know what I mean? They're like, they they know what it is. Um, some of them have started chasing the the, the projectiles. That's uh, that's kind of fun to watch too. So, you know, it it's it's good all in all. Oh, one one thing I want to mention here: this battery situation. I am less than impressed with that. Uh, me being me, you know, somewhat handy and, and knowledgeable in the uh, electrical fields and industries here. What I would do is I'd take a Dremel tool and I would notch out this plastic door somewhere. And I have, and I'll put a link to it in case uh, you guys want to do this modification. I have a pack of these battery connectors. They come with both male and female ends. Uh, I think there's 20 of each in here. And these, these were cheap. I don't know. 10 bucks, maybe something like that. Here, let's uh, see what before we send them. Give you a little, yeah, something like that. Anyway, but whatever, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find where I got these things and uh, put a link to in the description. But uh, I think I'd do a little soldering on that. I would cut the battery wires and I would stick uh, a female end out here. That way, you know, I'd just take a Dremel tool and just create a little notch and get a female end coupler connector sticking out there. Or male end, actually, because, yeah, this is uh, this is female. So you need to stick a male end out there, and then you can plug the, the charger in externally because having to deal with that screw every time you want to charge the battery, well, that's just, it's kind of dumb. I mean, I, I would rate it higher, honestly, on my scale if I didn't have to deal with that. And the screw is, it falls right out of this door, so there's not a stop on the screw on the back side of it. So you, you, you're going to lose the screw if you're not careful. So, you know, keep that in mind. But that's what I would do. I would I would kind of take a Dremel tool and just notch that out. You know, a little solder and a little heat shrink if that's your cup of tea. If you can do that kind of stuff, well, then I'll, I'll show you where I got these. And, uh, you know, there you go. A's and B's and put them together and solve that problem right quick. Um, yeah, that's that's what I would do. But overall, I mean, it's 
like I said, probably too many times now. It's a fun toy. I like it. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm calling it a seven and a half. It's good stuff I, overall. Um, I do believe, I do believe that's going to wrap this one up right there. Anywho, uh, do the, the, the likes, the subscribes, you know, all the thumbs stuff. And hey, uh, thanks for hanging out. And we're going to see you in the next one. All right. Cheers. Mm -hmm.